Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Learn from Game Jabster tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to create an entity on Ladder Jabster. So let's see. Type your Jabster colon entity and your entity name. Press enter. So guys, uh, we are generating our field 1. Do you want to add a field to your entity? Yes. Name is name. Yes. What is the type of your field? Okay, I will choose string. Do you want to add validation rules to your field? Yes. I want validation and space for required. Generating field 2. Do you want to add field to your entity? Yes. And field name is mobile long. And mobile long will be string. No, I don't need validation. Yes. Email. Uh, email also string. Okay. No, I don't need validation. Yes. What is the name of your field? Okay, I in this field I will I want a field for save uh, date. So create date and I will choose local date. No, I don't need validation. No. Do you want to add a relationship to another entity? No. Okay, do you want to use a data transfer object DTO? No, I will use entity directly. Do you want to use separate service class for your business logic? No, the REST controller should be used repository directly. Yes, generate a separate service class. Yes, generate a separate service interface and implementation. Okay, I will choose choose second one. Yes, generate a separate uh, service class, or you can use uh, this one and this one as you wish. I will choose second one. Do you want pagination on your entity? Okay, I will wish this one. Yes, with pagination links. Everything is configured, generating successfully. Okay, I will choose A for override this and all other things. So guys, we have successfully generated our new entity. So let's go on project files. Go to source, main, web app, app and entities here is our entity file and there is one main controller for this one HTML and here is our service for uh, creating manual service and this is state and this is for dialogue uh, dialogue controller and this is uh, the controller for detail and here is the HTML this one is dialogue controller and this is the dialogue HTML so guys our new entity is successfully generated and also we have seen our entity uh, entity 1 and there here JS file so let's run our project again Okay, uh, write ambient Spring Boot Run and press enter. Our project is running. Please wait for 5 minutes or maximum 5 minutes. Yes. So guys we have successfully run our project so let's see on browser so shoot local slash hdlhc
so guys here is our project uh, just sign in with admin Okay, go to entity and this is our entity, uh, entity one which uh, we have uh, generated. So create a new entity name. Created it is safe. So guys, look uh, here is our uh, data. Uh, you can view from here. I can edit, and also you can delete. So thank you so much for watching our latest video. Please keep like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.